What's going on everybody? KSA Chris here, The Real Estate Blitz. And today we're going to be talking about business partnerships in real estate. And uh, this, is, this is a big one, man. I hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. Uh, yeah, you know, so-and-so, me and we're going to build a team or we're going to build a business together. We're going to tie our boats together. And, and here's the thing. Um, I think a lot of people come and ask me my opinions or what I think because that's how we built our business. There was, uh, you know, uh, how it all started. A uh, buddy of mine and I, we were hanging out one day. We were still in the Marine Corps, dressed up in our camis. And uh, he was getting ready to retire before I did. And he says, what are we going to do? What are you, what are you going to do? I says, well, I think I'm going to go into real estate full time. And I was like, what are you going to do? He's like, well, I was hoping to get, uh, you know, hired back in where we're working. I'm like, is that really what you want to do? He's like, no, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to keep doing this. I just don't want to keep doing this. And I says, well, I'm doing real estate. You can come do that. I've been doing that for a while. You know, as an investor, I'm going to do the retail thing with my wife. What do you think? Okay. So I talked to my wife and she's like, yeah, I'm in too. So it started off with the three of us. Then we brought on Adam. And these are actual business partners. So the four of us went running into the freaking fire. We're going to be partners 50-50 for everybody. We're going to divide it up, you know, so everybody gets 25%. We, we ran into the fire. It's been hard. In the beginning, hell, it's just, it's, it's, it, it was hard. It was hard. So I would say we were the anomaly. Most business partnerships, especially with that many people, they don't really work unless they are mature people within a mature business. Um, we just got lucky and we worked through a whole lot of crap. I mean, like, you know, arguing, uh, not liking each other, um, disagreeing, huge disagreements. And we, we turned out all right. You know, it, it's worked out well. And I would say that in the, in the future, we'll, we'll still have problems. So here's my view on partnerships. Le based off of what I've learned, okay? I can't tell you, you're going to do whatever the hell you want to do, but I can tell you based off of what I've learned. Um, I'm grateful that we did what we did and I've enjoyed this journey with them. But when I look at how partnerships normally go and I look at the challenges that we've had, this is what I would say. Don't run into the fire. Patience. Patience. Because I say it all the time. There's two things that are going to happen if you run into the fire. You're either going to catch on fire or you're going to come out a hero. We ended up coming out heroes. We got burned a lot along the way, okay? And even if you come out the hero, you're going to get damaged. You're going to get damaged. So I would say first, patience. It's easy to sit there and say, yeah, you, me, let's run. Let's just, we'll just do it and we'll do great things. Here's what I would say. If you two or three or however you want to do it, but I'll start with two. If you two want to work together, you should explore that. What does it look like? How are we going to build this business together? And let's just do it. I'm going to make my business. You're going to make your business. Hell, we can even split our commissions to a point. But when you start talking about legal paperwork and creating something with a partnership, realize you're giving up equity, equity, equitable interest in your business. And if you're planning on being in business a long time and succeeding and winning, that's a whole lot that you're giving up. I remember reading, uh, or not reading, I was watching something with John Echo, and they asked him, what was the biggest, what do you believe is your biggest failure from building your business? He says, honestly, my biggest failure was in the beginning, I gave up equity. I gave up equity. And it was because, you know, there were people that were my friends, and we were cool, and we were doing something together, and I didn't realize the value of who I was and what I was producing and creating. And I didn't realize the value that they had. In return, I gave up equity. I gave up value within my business that wasn't deserved or earned. So keep that in mind. So let's say you want to create a business with one other person. Right now, you producing in your production takes care of you. If there's two of you and you're dividing 50-50, right? You have to produce twice as much in order to take care of both of you. In order to actually truly make a profit, the two of you have to produce more than what you were already producing on your own to begin with. So you have to, the value proposition is you both should bring, be bringing in at least the same value and opportunity and production. Now, let's talk about life. Life happens. Life happens. Productive this month, not productive next month. Life happens. 
ton of energy, happy. Breakup happens, not happy. So now you're going to have to carry and give up your money to somebody that may not be producing or is having a bad month or year. Um, you might be producing and carrying somebody that is changing what they want to do and they may not agree with you and they just are going to do what they want to do. Well, I'm an owner too. I'll do what I want. So now you have a choice. Do you walk away? Do you start over? You know, I, I don't know. I think business partnerships, this is my best recommendation. I'm not averse to it because I'm in a business partnership. Uh, almost every business that I own, I'm in some form of a partnership. This is what I would say. Patience. 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 Try sitting down, masterminding, and creating something together. Try giving it a minimum of six months of you guys working together and actually trying to build. If you choose to share your profits from commission, that's your choice. But when you tie your boats together with somebody, or if you tie your boat together with somebody legally, and you're talking about creating a corporation with that individual, it's not just paperwork. In my opinion, it's almost like a marriage. You know, yes, you can walk away, but it, it could hurt. It could hurt. And uh, as opposed to just saying, look, let's just date. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Why don't you date for a while? Before you just jump into a partnership, try dating for a while. Try creating something for a while. Six months to a year, date. And if you're like, you know, I'm still in love with the idea of being a partner with you, get married. Go do the paperwork. I'm all for it. Um, but just to do it, it's running into the fire. One of two things is going to happen. You're either going to catch on fire or you're going to come out a hero. Not everybody comes out a hero. All right, that's all I got today. Real Estate Blitz, KSA Chris, that's me. And uh, do me a favor, like, share, comment. Check me out on YouTube. Check me out on Facebook, The Real Estate Blitz on both. Be on the lookout for the podcast kicking off in January. If you haven't noticed, um, if you go on the Facebook page, I've been doing a lot of live uh, interviews with people. I'm going to start scheduling that to where it's like on a specific time, specific day. I'm going to be doing a lot of live interviews as well uh, with different people in the industry uh, and, and just mindset in general to help out. And um, Blitz University is going to be kicking off first week of January, January 3rd as well, along with the website. So you'll be able to go and get Blitz University for free, which is built with Grant Cardone for free for 30 days. I am get, I'm putting it out there at cost. I'm not making a dollar off of it. I'm putting it out there at cost, okay, which is $100 per month, $100 per month. Grant Cardone for Cardone University charges $1,000 per month. I pitched this to the Cardone team. Um, Blitz you, I pitched it to them and they were like, all right, after pitching it multiple times, they said, all right, we're in. And um, so that's kicking off and it's basically sales and real estate education on everything, cold calling, follow-up systems, you name it on there, along with all of Grant Cardone's books, along with like a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, just a ton of stuff. And I'm going to do some walkthroughs so you can see all that. But anyways, that's all I got today. Appreciate you and uh, I'll see you all later.